Christian denomination is the effective use of hymns in our services. There seem to be no phase of life or situation we pass through that do not have a corroborative aim to match it up. Community hymn singing is also barely heard of in other Christian denominations except the mainline churches and it is an event with an invitation to the whole community to come sing and meditate on the lyrics of the hymns and even the story behind those hymns and also the hymn writers. As a final year student in this institution, I have in my four years in the college had a lot of hymns, both from our fathers and colleagues. Anytime I hear hymns like, Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King, of creation Oh my soul praise him for he is the heart of salvation Only who and also reflect on his redemptive love. In acclaiming Jesus as one's Lord and proclaiming to be the hell of salvation that has been purchased by him, born of his spirit and watch in his blood, the hymn, Blessed Assurance, perfectly suited. Blessed Assurance overwhelmed by the challenges of life and become greatly confused and do not even know what to say or we don't even have the words to express ourselves in the place of prayer hymns can become a strategic tool to employ are you here today and you're in a state of confusion maybe your tears have become a rushing shower to your face and you have no ray of hope coming from anywhere then I need you to sing this next thing with the whole of your heart. With the consciousness that God is around and is listening to you. Pass me no more
Can you say save your Lord? Everybody. Ready to come to him. 
And that is why we are saddled with the responsibility of bringing them to the fold of Christ. Ensuring that they hear the voice of God through us. As we speak of the love of Christ to them. Once this is done, we can lead the new converts. And even those that want to rededicate their lives to Christ, saying, I am dying, oh, I am We can go on and on to connect names together and it will address our situation perfectly. But can I show you, sir, as a man? All the hints used so far in this presentation, as popular as they are, we are composed by one person, Fanny Crosby. Fanny Crosby was born in the village of Southeast Fulton County, New York in the United States on March 24, 1820. It also shocked you to know that the baby Crosby lost her eyesight six weeks after her birth and she never regained her sight. Yet, she wrote over 8,000 hymns and gospel songs with more than 100 million copies printed. In a later life, she was asked if blindness was an issue to her, and she is quoted to have responded this way. Blindness cannot keep the sunlight of Roho from the trustful soul. One of the easiest results I have formed in my young and joyous heart was to leave all care to yesterday and to believe that the morning will break forth 
it's all peculiar job. Brethren, Fanny Crosby died 107 years ago. Yet, we are still blessed by the works of our hand. After your exit on this earth, how long will you be remembered? And what will you be remembered for? If Fanny Crosby, though blind, could document all her writings and poems in the world of no laptop, no phone, no Google Drive, no OneDrive, and still survive the test of times, then we are challenged to do greater works than her in this dispensation. Permit me to challenge my contemporaries as I conclude. The way and manner the church was operated and managed 20 years ago is not the way it is managed today. And there is every probability that a paradigm shift is coming again in the next few decades. No time for laziness, no time for complacency in a time like this. I sign out with this thing. A time like this, God looks for men. Thank you for your time. God bless you.